Good morning, dear children. After Diwali holidays, let's again start with the regular classes. I hope you all have enjoyed your Diwali holidays, but also have done little bit of studies. So today we are going to start with a grammar topic, adverb. Do you know what is an adverb? You might have studied in the previous class. An adverb is a word that describes a verb, adjective or another word. So this is known as adverb. In a simpler way, we can say that adverb is a word which is added to a verb. So let's also discuss the different types of adverbs and where these adverbs are used. So let's understand this clearly with the help of slides. So children, let's see in detail what are adverbs. Adverbs are words that modify a verb, an adjective, another adverb or a whole sentence. Like when we speak about a verb, we can say he drives slowly. When we speak about an adjective, we can say David is extremely clever. When we are talking about another adverb, we can frame the sentence she moved very slowly down the easel. And when we talk about a whole sentence, Luckily, the car stopped in time. Adverbs often tell when, where, why, how or how much something happens or happened. Now, let's have a quick look at the types of adverbs. First, adverb of manner, adverb of place. Next, adverb of time. Next, adverb of frequency. And last, adverb of degree. Let's see the example of each. First, adverb of manner. She sings beautifully. Answer the question, how? So, we'll get slowly, clearly, easily. Then, adverb of place. The concert was held outdoors. We can answer the question from the word where. Adverb of time. I'll see you tomorrow. We can frame the question when. Adverb of frequency. I never arrive late. Again, the question can be asked how often. Adverb of degree. It was too hot. How much? Many adverbs are formed by adding ly to an adjective. Like suppose the adjective is slow. We can frame it as slowly. Adjective beautiful, beautifully. Quiet, quietly. Easy, easily. Specific, specifically. There are some adjectives also end in ly. Including costly, manly, deadly, friendly, lively and timely. These are not adverbs. These are adjectives. Now forming comparative and superlative adverbs. Like for example, quite. Its adverb becomes quietly. And when we make with the comparative adverb, it is written as less quietly than. And its superlative degree is written as the most quietly. Same goes with carefully. Careful, carefully. More careful than, the least carefully. Happy, happily. More happily than, the most happily. I speak English. More fluently now than last year. She visited 
one of the most quietly beautiful places on earth. He drives less carefully than his brother. So these degrees can be framed, can be used in this, in such sentences. Now let's see position of adverbs. It can be further classified as adverb of manner. It comes after the adverb or at the end of the sentence. He sneaks quietly out of the house. Their teacher speaks quietly. Adverb of time. It usually comes at the end of the sentence. I will tell you the story tomorrow. But if you want to put more emphasis, you should put it at the beginning of the sentence. Tomorrow, I will tell you the story. Adverb of place. It comes after the object. I didn't see him here. If there is no object, it comes after the main verb. He stayed behind. Now, next is adverb of degree. It comes before what it modifies. The exam was so difficult. It was too hot. Last is adverb of frequency. It comes before the main verb. I always get up at 6 or between the auxiliary and the main verb. He doesn't always play tennis. Mandy can usually play football on Sundays or after the verb to be Susan is never late. Children, the adverbs often, usually, sometimes, occasionally, they can also be used at the beginning of the sentence. Like for example, sometimes I go swimming. The adverbs rarely and seldom can go at the end of a sentence. He eats, he eats fish very seldom. So children, these are the different types of adverbs and the position of adverbs. I hope you all have understood. Go through the grammar, ex, grammar chapter number 11, read it and try to understand in a better way. Now, this is an exercise based on the adverbs. Go through it. Read the sentence and try to understand how with the help of adjective adverbs can be framed. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a good day.